thanks to God that I am able to share and you are able to listen. So today is my topic is server side swift. In this, like you will learn like how you can just interact uh, with your first project through uh, Swift. Like you want to introduce a server like website or API creation. So we'll take a simple demo like uh, get API we'll create from server side uh, with the language of Swift. And uh, in my presentation, like I'll create a two folder. One is server and another is client. Inside client, like I'll create a iOS application. There I will use a URL session and I'll call that API, which I'll create from the server side Swift, right? So in this case, like what you need to do, I have some uh, to-do steps. So server side Swift using always Vapor. Vapor is nothing like it's a framework which is completely designed for uh, this Swift work. So if you will see, Vapor is there. And in this Vapor, they are explaining everything uh, clearly. And they mention this. This is a document for Vapor, a web framework for Swift. And Vapor is the most used web framework for Swift. And uh, uh, it provides a beautiful expressive and easy to use foundation for your next website or api so if you want to create website or api or you want to be become uh, a full stack swift engineer then like you can create a server and you can create the client side apps as well so then you can use vapor you can start like this so if i want to install this then what what will be the requirement in my mac so its installation process will be look like that if you are using Mac, I'm using Mac. So like first, first we need to check like whether my Swift version is deprecated or not. So I'll check uh, the Swift version first. And this is 5.3 already. So I don't need to worry about this. Xcode, X, Xcode version will be more than 11.4. So this is also 12.3. So no need to worry for this as well. So keep in mind, this is testing only and they are also they are checking brew install vapor like if you don't have brew, then you need to, you know, uh, go to the brew.sh website, which is already there and uh, also I will put into the description. So you will see like brew.sh is there just you need to copy and paste this command on your terminal Mac OS terminal like that. And then you need to hit enter. It will ask you for password. But I don't want to give because it's already there in my system. So now after then like you can hit the brew install vapor. Instead of it you need to install other command because now it is updated and the path is brew install vapor tab vapor. Otherwise like once you will create a Xcode project over there you will stuck and scheme will not load with your Mac device devices and you will be not able to proceed there. So that was my prior experience I'm sharing with you. So for what we need to do, we can just install this brew uh, install. Sorry for this install install uh, vapor tab vapor. So once it will install uh, till that, like we can just go there and we can create a client side app. So I'll go to the Xcode and I'll create a Xcode project. This will be a simple iOS application and that will be present as a client I iOS. And in this iOS, I need to proceed this on the client iOS, right? So now what I need to do, I go, I'll go to the app delegate. I'll create a simple function which will call my url so i need to create a simple function like uh, test swift server get api and that will be look like that so <laughs> Thank you.
all it's perfectly fine and we will get some data then this data will come here and we are just calling this uh, url session uh, api right so that's perfectly fine now what you need to do you need to check your server whether it is installed or not like vapor is installed or not so client side is completely done from our side like we need to give a api here that uh, a url here which will just recently come so server part i need to do now it is installed and now what what i need to do clear i need to go to till server i'll go there and i'll check i am there on server only so i reach there and now what i need to do i need to come uh, do some uh, commands like vapor new my first web app and then vapor build vapor run and then vapor export and you need to create a get api this part is completely done from our side like uh, we created a project already we call the api only we need to replace uh, this url from the server side url which will locally local server will initiate just now so what you need to do i just create a new project right so the new project you need to create with this web vapor new my first web app this command you can just copy and paste there it will clothing template and it will start something some questions you need to give answers of those questions so it will tell you would you like to use fluent no would you like to use leaf no it will generate right so now the project itself is saying project my first web app has been created use cd first web app to enter the project directory yeah why not sure so we'll go till here so cd and you can just drag till here and you'll be there if you will see C uh, ls like lots of source is there now you need to run vapor uh, before run you need to build the project so vapor build will build your things but it will take some time so we need to wait for building after the successful build we'll go and just run this uh, uh, server so there is a source app and the roots.swift is there this roots.swift have a it works uh, get uh, function is there so like it will call after the completion of fetching of all git repositories right so it will take some time we'll wait and finally we'll launch our xcode and we'll start our get uh, api with a struct or class model and then we'll utilize this into our client side ios project right and we'll replace here with this url that data that uh, that get api which we're going to going to create right so it's taking time we need to wait it is completed and build is success successfully done now my target is to run open a open a um, xcode project so that i can write a api so vapor xcode it will open one open my xcode with the package format don't worry about this scheme if it is not coming that means resources are like it's resolving uh, and the package and everything it will take some time and your things will be there so wait for some time and these swift package dependencies will install and your no scheme will convert into your uh, my mac device uh, if it is not coming then you can go for, for the my uh, manage uh, the scheme and then over there like auto create schemes will be there click on this and this button and it will generate and some refreshing icons will come here and everything will be load and after then your scheme will generate here and you will be able to build this project right so once you will hit on this what effect you will get that i am telling you 
so i want to see the debug area as well so i'll go for the view and i'll see the debug area with the show debug area here one url will come that url is a localhost url and once it will build properly my safari browser will open with some api call right so i need to create api quickly now after the building of uh, this project successfully uh, run this project and then and like my server will start so once my server will start it will inform me when by one url which will be a localhost url so i'll get a url here this is a server starting on this url if i'll go and copy paste on the safari browser i'll see it works is there as i committed so i'll go there and check into my source into my uh, roots.swift i'll see where is run it is run right so if i will say cool and then i'll refresh this and rerun this again then again my server will stop for some time if i will hit this it will give me safari can't connect to the server because it stopped now we stopped deliberately so we can run it again once we'll run it again the api will change and the response will come here as a cool right because we changed here now what i need to do i want to delete this cool and all i want to create get users list right so like that i want to create one api and here rather than this string i want to pass my struct of swift so it will be my first step to create server side swift code right so i will make a simple struct here which will be a user and user have two properties where name will be the string and uh, it can be where email can be string as well and it will be load with init and parameter optional parameterized function uh, function will be in it initializer will be there and that will load with some value so name will be like john and the email also will be uh, a string and it can be a optional value john at the rate gmail.com right and then you can just make it self dot name equals to name and self dot email equals to email like that and this user you can pass here as a user list right so if you will pass like that users list like this optional parameters are there so they will take their internal values now it is saying it's a user list so you need to pass like that the rest things will automatically work but one error you will get here this error is saying re referencing instance method get use on array requires that user confirm to contain contain is same like codable so here contain will work and if you will go inside the contain you will see contain is a codable request decodable and response encodable right so it's perfectly fine swift is more advanced now i'll rerun this uh, project so that i can just get the reflection over there on my server so i'll stop this i'll rerun this build will succeed over there and i can just proceed and check the server again like http 1270.0.8080 and i will add at the last this get user list as a get response of user data right so i'll go there and run this you'll get successfully this data right so if you will check everything is there as a valid json so json formatting will be there and you will get a proper json over there and you will process this your data is like looking like this so it's perfectly fine so now if you want one more user and if you want to give a user dot in it with my name and like abc and email will be abc at the rate gmail.com 
it's perfectly fine now again i'll refresh this because refreshing is very necessary generally we forgot these things and we we forget these things and just we get some error so try to understand these things now if you will see two users are there so perfectly we are getting first result and now i want to see the same because local server is right now running if i will stop it my safari browser will stop everything and it will not reflect on my server and once you will hit server it will say safari doesn't work right so you need to run this and then go to your client side app as well so once you will go to the client side app and you'll see the client side app is ready i need to use as i promised like you can just use this url which is here http the local one plus this if everything will be goes right then things will work perfect and my json will come here and congratulations you initiated first step then you can learn more in next few sessions but it is our starting so i i'm i'm just going to run this uh, ios application now so once i'll succeed it in my icon simulator it will come here and i need to check whether it's working or not so hopefully it should give me the result proper result so it came here test swift server get api is calling also json is there and my json is printing perfectly right can you see this is my response so that means i love this like everything whatever i done from the server side and from the uh, client side both are working through the swift, swift only so it's your starting as a full stack developer into the swift and you can write your web applications and you can create your get and post apis as well in future we'll go with the post apis right now we have the get api information and if you like this video and if you uh, really think like it's useful then please uh, like share this video as much as you can share it with your friends and family members thank you so much thanks for watching this